Hello students, I welcome you all to this small YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the very useful tricks for temperature conversation from Celsius to Fahrenheit and from Fahrenheit to Celsius. See, for conversation of temperature from Celsius to Kelvin, it's very easy. You all know, right? But the problem comes when we have to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay? So, first, let's see some useful tricks for converse conversation of temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay? I'll take some examples. From examples, I'll make you to understand. Suppose, 10 degrees Celsius, we have to convert to Fahrenheit scale. Okay? Now, here comes the trick. Suppose, we, okay, let me take some uh, options. Let us take some options 40 Fahrenheit, 48 degree Fahrenheit, 50 degree Fahrenheit and uh, 60 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, these are the options I have given you. Now answer me within seconds. Can you answer? Maybe you can answer after this video. Okay, let me answer. So the answer will be 50 degree Fahrenheit. How did I say? See, look at the trick. I'm going to the I'm going to write the trick. So be careful. Okay. Now, what you have to do is, whatever the Celsius degree they have given, just multiply with 2. What we will get? 20. Right? Now, to this answer, just add 30. What will be the final answer? 50 degree Fahrenheit. Here you go, you got the answer. Just in mind, you can calculate. Okay? Just in mind, just simple math, you can get the answer. Okay. Suppose you are not satisfied with this. Still, you need some more accurate accurate answer. For example, sometimes they will give uh, like 51, 52, 54. So, with small degrees variation, they will give the option. Okay. At that time, in order to calculate the accurate answer, if you need accurate answer. See, suppose if they give this type of options where we have a lot of gaps be between the numbers, then easily we can tick the answer with this method. But if you need accurate answer, just one more step. Okay. Just one more step. If you need accuracy, just one more step. What is the step is? First take 10, okay, 10 minus whatever temp whatever be the temperature they gave you, okay, in the question, subtract it and divide it by 5. What will be the answer? 0 by 5. So, what is the error? 0. It means the answer is definitely 50 degrees Celsius, okay. There is no accuracy. I mean, there is no point or uh, 51, 52, nothing like that, okay. So, this is the right answer with accurate accuracy. Getting my point? Okay. Let us take some more examples to make you understand better. Suppose if we have to calculate or we have, if we have to convert 15 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. What is the trick? First multiply with 2. Answer 30. Add 30. Okay. This is what we did here, right? Multiplied with 2. For the answer of multiplication, we added 30. So similarly, if we add what we get 60. So 60 degree Fahrenheit is your answer. Now, Again, if you need accurate answer, even in points, then what you have to do with 10, we have to minus. What you have to minus, whatever the temperature they gave you, minus it and divide by 5. Minus 5 by 5, which is minus 1. So, accurate temperature is 60 degree minus 1, which is 59 degree Fahrenheit. This is the accurate answer. But if they gave you the option like 60 degree, 70 degree, 80 degree, then easily you can mark it, right? But when they gave in the option like 59, 60, 61, 62, then you can calculate the accuracy. Okay, I'll take some more examples. This is the last example. Let me take. Suppose you have to convert 50 degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. What you have to do? Multiply with 2. You will wait 50 at 30. What is the answer? 80 degree Celsius. Now, accuracy. How to check accuracy? 10 minus whatever the temperature they gave you. 25 divided by 5. What is the answer? Minus 15 by 5. Finally, minus 3. So, minus 3, we have to add to 80 degree Celsius. 80 degree Fahrenheit. This is Fahrenheit. We are converting to Fahrenheit, right? Okay, I'm sorry. So, if we add minus 3 to 80 degree Fahrenheit, accurate answer we will be getting accurate answer we will be getting which is 77 degree Fahrenheit. So, if you convert 25 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit scale, the answer is 77 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, now let us take the examples or uh, the models of converting Fahrenheit degree Celsius, Fahrenheit to centigrade degree Celsius scale. Okay, now I will take some more examples. Suppose 
50 degree okay 50 degree Fahrenheit we have to convert to Celsius now listen to me carefully whatever we did in this model okay in, while converting to Celsius to Fahrenheit whatever we did we just have to do everything inverse reverse okay here what we did we multiplied with 2 but in this model we have to divide with 2 next here in Celsius to from in Celsius to Fahrenheit we added 30 degree but in this case uh, from converting Fahrenheit to Celsius we have to subtract 30 degree whatever be the functions just we have to inverse them okay now what I told 2 we have to divide and 30 we have to subtract subtract okay now first as everything is inverse we will start with inverse only first we will subtract with 30 degree see we added we added here so we are subtracting here and we are moving from reversed in reverse direction what will be the answer 20 right now here we multiplied with 2 but in this case we will divide with 2 what will be the answer 10 degree celsius now one more example i'll take 60 degree fahrenheit we have to convert to celsius 60 degree 60 degree we have to subtract with how much 30 what will be the answer 30 degree next what we have to do divide with 2 what we will be getting 50 degree celsius the same if you need accuracy we can calculate accuracy also similarly okay so in this way we can solve or we can convert from fahrenheit to celsius or celsius to fahrenheit within seconds okay now you just have to do one thing just practice this type of questions many times as more as many times you practice the more perfect you become the more perfect you become very easily within few seconds you can solve the answer okay you can solve the questions you can solve all the different kind of models just by using the simple tricks so thanks for watching stay tuned i'm uploading still more amazing tricks and tips from all the chapters